want to dissect the meaning of this multiplication expression 27 times 13 and think about what it actually means so that you can solve problems mentally. When we look at 27 times 13, it's a challenging problem to solve in your head. Some strategies that you can do that will make it simpler are to look at this as 13 repeated 27 times. And if you repeat 13 27 times, the part that you can do in your head is 13 times 20. And think about that with me. 13 times 20 is just like 13 times 2, except 10 times bigger. 13 times 2 is 26. 13 times 20 is 260. So we're going to need to add seven more 13s. So it's like 13 times 20 plus 13 times 7. 13 times 7 might also be challenging to do in your head. I happen to know that that equals 91. So you can solve this problem by thinking 260 plus 91, which is 360 minus 9, 351. Another way you can look at it is instead of 13 repeated 27 times, you could look at it as 27 repeated 13 times. 27 times 10, you know, is 270. And then that leaves 27 times 3. 27 times 3 is 81. You wind up with the same answer of 351. So when we look at some options of which of these are true, I want you to circle in your mind all of these expressions that are true. Twenty-seven thirteens. Did we have twenty-seven thirteens? Yeah, that's displayed in that model with the orange. So that would be correct. Do we have thirteen times twenty plus thirteen times seven? Yeah, that's true for the reasons I modeled above. We have thirteen twenty times, and then we need to add thirteen seven more times. So that is also correct. Ten plus three times twenty-seven. Well, 10 plus 3 is 13, so that's like saying 13 times 27. That's also correct. 20 times 13 minus 7 times 13. No, that would actually give us uh, 13 thirteens, because this side needs to be plus. So we're not going to circle. This one is not true, so we wouldn't circle it. 30 minus 3 times 13. 30 minus 3 is 27. So 27 times 13 would be the same as our initial problem. 27 times 20 plus 27 times 3. 27 20 times plus 27 3 times. That would be like 27 times 23, not times 13. So that one is not true. We have four of them that are true and two that are not true. In the next problem, it says solve mentally now. Uh, Draw a tape diagram and fill in the blanks to show your thinking. There's a very specific way to model this type of problem, 49 times 11. For this, the simplest way to think about it is 49 10 times 1. Two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I'm just going to put one more up here. When you take a look at it like this, how do you solve it mentally? We can do it using a tape diagram. I'm just going to move this over just a touch so we have a little bit more room. That's like saying we have 49 11 times. What do we know? In your mind, you know 49 10 times. So when you solve these with a tape diagram, this is how I want you to model it. It's like saying 490 
but we need one more. 490 plus 49. So that's 538. That's how I want this sort of problem to be modeled. I'm sorry, 500. Uh, I don't know why I wrote that. 539. 539. I don't know where I got 38 from. So that's how you can solve this type of problem. When we look at the next one, let me just delete these. 25 times 13. What I want you to think about it as, we could do 13 25 times, or we could do 25 13. Which one would be simpler for you to model? If you're setting it up this way, 13 25 times, there's 13 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I can just duplicate this row. So there's 13 20 times. And then we need five more. One, two, three, four, five. So how do we go ahead and solve this? 13 20 times. 13 times 2 is 26. So that's 260. But then you need 13 five more times. So uh, 13 times 5 is 65. So you'd have to do 260 plus 65, which is uh, 325. Another way to do it is look at it as 25 13 times. So we have to make 25 10 times. So when you draw it, you're going to draw it like this, but you're actually going to draw the circles. Um, and one way to make your life simpler, instead of doing 25 13 times, because we don't all have that much uh, space or time, one way you could do it is like this and just put some dots in here. That shows me 25 10 times. So what you can do is just put 10 right there. Um, and then you could say that equals 250. But then you need to actually draw it three more times. So then you would have 250 plus 75. And then that would give you 13 25s and 75. So that shows you it's 250 plus 75. That's one way you can model it on the homework. And once again, you get the same answer of 325 without having to draw all of these. And you could have done the same thing up here. Um, you could have just done, we could take out all these middles, and you could just write dot, 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 and show this as being 20. And then at the top, the value of that is 260. And then you would need to draw five more down here. So that's one way you can model it. Solve mentally now. I want you to do this along with me and be a step ahead if you can. 75 times 21. How are you going to model this? And now let me make it a one step harder. What if I said 75 times 19 instead? 75 times 19. You're going to still start out with that same base fact, and now I'm going to draw this one. I'm going to think about it when I do it mentally as 75 20 times. So I'm going to model 75 times 20. And the way to do that is I'm going to write 75, 1, 2, 3, Dot, 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 dot. And I'm going to show here 
that this is 75 times 20. So at the bottom of the screen, I'll show this is 20 times. And at the top, I'm going to write the value of that. The value of 75 times 2, I know 75 times 2 is 150. So 75 times 20 would be 1,500. But this doesn't say 75 times 20. It says 75 times 19. So I'm going to have to take away one of the 75s. And so when you model it out, it's going to be 1,500 minus 75. And that equals 1425. So on your sheets, when it says model using a diagram, this is uh, the expectation for that.